Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you and I am going to teach you how to do this. Uh, a list of brands, you can say that filter using brands looking like Amazon. When you uh, select, uh, if you want to sh uh, search shirt like that and you will notice that here, if, here we have a list of brands in the uh, left side. So just I want to Danish lingo, just I want to search and indigo promo there is the second brand so only the listed out of this brands you can see that so uh, filter using checkboxes this that is the topic of the video so here we have a list of brands looking like that and these are the total products just i want to show only the uh, just i want to show only a uh, brands products so here we have only two products in the brands Samsung and Samsung 2 just I want to show also B so LG and LG 2 just I want to show only B so here we have LG and LG 2 just I want to show uh, D instead of C and you can see that Google is the product so uh, filter using checkbox uh, boxes in ASP.NET Core and how to do this uh, in ASP.NET Core Th that is the topic of the day so just going to uh, in Visual Studio and you can see that the first uh, thing you can uh, uh, you can check in the uh, in the ASP.NET Core that is the model. The first is the model that is the product. And you know that product is actually depend on the brand. And here we have a brand ID. Each product have a brand ID. So brand have a multiple products. So the relationship between the brand and the product is the brand have multiple products. And the product table, you can see that this is the product table. So ID, name, price, description, brand, and brand ID. So product and brand have a many to one to many relationship. Okay. And the next one is the view model where I listed a list of brands and list of products looking like that. When you will see in the, in the video, uh, you can see that here we have a list of brands and list of products. So this is the view model and uh, just go for the index page in the products controller and you can see that index page is list out first of all brands and products from the database table by using the context and after initialize that uh, brands and products in the view model like like that brands and products and send to the view models uh, i mean to say that cshtml page and you can see that in the cshtml page here we have a brand product view model and in the sidebar or you can say that the first thing you can uh, show on your screen that is brands so here we have that is the model and model dot brands just i want to show here we have a type is checkbox name is brands okay value is brand dot id and the id is what brand dash brand dot id and i want to uh, i want to associate with the label so here we have a label for brand brand id and brand date name that is the you are associated with this checkbox okay so listed brands are visible similarly we have the products are visible in the form of the product name is also visible product uh, model of products product list here we have a id property of the ul okay now in the when we select any checkbox uh, in the given list so where we have id and the name is brands so you can see that uh, when any select any changes in the checkboxes so input type equals to checkbox and name is brands you can see in the name is brands so here we have a checkbox and name is brands dot change function occurs on the checkboxes then uh, you can say that input type equals to checkbox and name is brands is checked then uh, if it is checked oops battery slow uh, if it is checked then get the value okay so you can say that selected brands is the single value uh, on the first brands okay so only uh, this things is mentioned type x checkbox name is a brands and on change so checkbox name brand checked then map function by using uh, to get this value I get this value i mean to say that brand.id just i want to get and send that uh, id is to the um, to the post by using the ajax so here we have a url that is the uh, controller name and that is the action name get filtered and the data just I want to send it that is the selected brands by using the brands IDs in the form of the data. 
so uh, products controller here we have a get filtered products and here we have a list of arrays in the form of brand ids so just get this values by using context.products.where p and uh, p uh, i mean to say that p is a brand ids dot contain and what is the brand ids brand id is this line uh, brand id is dot contain p dot brand id okay so <coughs> p dot brand id i mean to say the p is a product name so here we have a ids so if it is contained so the list of product will be returned and after that list of the product will be um, passed to the um, that is the partial view so under the product list so here we have a product list you can say and here i'm going to add a partial view in the shared folder so here we have a product list dot csstml file and in this view just i'm going to show the models and the list of the products which is passing by the uh, get filter products and you can see in the index page uh, that is the success function product list dot html that is the result and the result in the form of the list of the product and that is at attached with this uh, product list okay so this is the uh, logic behind this and you can do it in yourself in your project if you want to filter uh, filter data using checkbox in asp.net code thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net code